up y'all i know you guys been waiting for an update um i've been consulting with many doctors in india and they've been giving me different answers you know um i went to two hospitals as i told you guys in the previous video and then i went to a third one yesterday um so when i went to the first one he took his uh, PET scan and said, okay, we see the cancer is, is spread it and all over. So we recommend that you take a chemo regimen called ICE plus aloe transplant from like a sibling. Um, then I was like, okay, let me just go speak to my family. And then I went to another doctor and he took a biopsy and try to figure out if this is still classical Hodgkin's and it, the test came back and it is still Hodgkin's lymphoma so there's nothing else it's not non-Hodgkin's it's the same cancer I was diagnosed back in 2013 and that doctor recommended that I take the same chemo regimen called ice but they want me to um, take ice with um, rituximab in immunotherapy so a chemotherapy regimen plus an immunotherapy as a, as a dose and he told me that you have a 70 percent chance of you responding to it and that um that if it works after three cycles he's gonna take some pet scan see that if my body responded and if i did Another three rounds of the chemo plus immunotherapy followed with uh, a pill that he mentioned to me. Then I went to a different hospital yesterday and when I went to that doctor, that doctor gave me a whole different answer. He looked at my papers and he was just like, I don't think chemo is going to work for you since you have a history of failing chemo and not responding to chemo. I don't think this chemo and immunotherapy that these doctors are mentioning to you will work for you in your situation. I think your best bet is to go to Mayo Clinic and join a clinical trial that's going on for, um, it's called the CART-C, CART cell therapy. He's like, I think if you go around India, you'll get confused by all different types of answers. And I don't think you have a 70% chance of responding. It's much lower than that. And he also mentioned an immunotherapy called nivolumab and said, suggested that if I take that, um, I have a 20 to 25% chance of my body responding to it. But all in all, he thinks that my best bet is to go to Mayo Clinic and to um, see if I'm eligible to join a clinical trial, which is, you know what a clinical trial is by now. I'm pretty sure if you guys probably heard about what a clinical trial is. You're basically a guinea pig. You're basically someone that's just getting tested with the drug. And if it succeeds, then it will work for the future patients of that disease. And if it doesn't, then you already signed off your papers agreeing that you can't hold the hospital if it causes anything fatal or anything. And to be honest, I'm really confused. I'm so confused right now. Um, I don't know. I, I sort of had hope when they told me I had chemo, but once the doctor spoke, uh, the other doctor spoke to me yesterday, I felt like he was kind of being 100% honest with me. If any of you guys are doctors and you guys know any doctors and you guys heard about these um, chemo regimens plus immunotherapy combined, if it's really a good thing to um, for my situation, for someone with refractory Hodgkin's lymphoma, then let your girl know, please. Cause no. I'm thinking so many things are in my head. Like, did I just waste my time coming all the way to India? to go back to America and try to figure it out there or or do I still have hope in India I'm thinking about maybe checking out maybe like 
maybe one more doctor or two more doctors because to be honest it gets to you after a while like you you don't think it will get to you but once you go to a different doctor a different doctor about your situation and they have different like answers like hey i think this will work but it might not work it's like you don't know like i'm not trying to i'm not trying to take treatment because this this doctor what he mentioned yesterday which stuck to me was he said if you take this chemotherapy the toxicity of it will affect you and you'll be sick in the country that you're not even from you know and i know how that feels he said you know and i don't want you to be getting sick and you know and and not getting the response that you want you know not getting the the benefit the full benefit that you are wanting so he said um i think chemo will bring you nothing but problems right now because so yeah basically that's what it is right now that's my update that's what's going on right now um if you guys have any ideas um the problem with mayo clinic is mayo clinic is really 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 expensive it is not something to play around with like just seeing the doctor and doing a couple of blood tests as an international patient you're already paying 10 racks so imagine treatment and stuff so um, at the end of the day my health is always important um, money doesn't mean nothing um, as long as you have your health and you feel 100% fine um, this doctor also mentioned he said while you're able to move around and travel without getting sick right now I think your best bet is to go to like um, Mayo Clinic before you start feeling sick and won't be able to um, travel and stuff which kind of got me a little worried saying how much time do I have but um, that's all up to God at the end of the day I'm still gonna stay strong still gonna be optimistic and yeah that's about it you guys right now I'm I'm confused um, I'm gonna pray istiqar tonight and see where you know God tells me to go because um, right now your girl's confused and like I'm fine alhamdulillah everything is okay you know um, but things could get better you know so I'm hoping and praying that um, <laughs> a miracle comes and someone tells me we got your treatment you know I am not a fan of doing clinical trials because um, that's just a risk that's just like that's just like the final end that's just like you you're you're just settling for anything at this point and I don't want to just settle for anything because I feel like there's there's much more out there for me that I can um, that I can go find um, a treatment or some sort because I feel like right now I feel healthy um, like I have some days where I do feel kind of sick my appetite's not that great but alhamdulillah things could be worse and I'm breathing and I'm living and I'm sleeping and I'm eating and that's all that sorry for the late update um, I was just running around India talking to so many people and everyone has their own idea so um, I'm gonna check out a few more doctors and let you guys know in the next video but um, if you have any ideas or anything let your girl know down below I'll put my Instagram and my social media accounts down here and you guys um, can contact me through there we got this we got this y'all we got this 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 we are going to beat this that's all i'm gonna let you guys know there's 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 some days where i'm just like i just want to give up but i can't can't give up i can't give up on my family i can't give up on you guys i can't give up on god so you already know you guys holla at you guys at the next video peace